I'm here with Felix from Fatsua, which is an e-bike drive system manufacturer. We've had a very big year collaborating with a number of really big brands, including Focus, Luke, Canyon, a whole bunch. But 2020 is shaping up to be an even bigger year. And Felix is going to talk us through what to expect from Fatsua this coming year. So Felix. Yeah, thanks for having me and uh, thanks for giving us the chance to speak to you guys. We're very excited to give you a short rundown about Fatsua, the history of Fatsua, the products we are providing and also what's new for this year. Fatsua, relatively new brand in the kind of e-bike world. Do you want to talk us a little bit about the system, how it works and how you started? So Fatsua itself is a brand that we created in 2013. So this was when the very first idea came up that e-bike drive systems should be more natural and uh, slimmer, lighter than the common ones that are that were existing in by, the, by this time. So the basic idea was to make everything smaller, lighter and uh, with a better aesthetic point of view. So we decided to go in a different direction and uh, we created Fatsua. Summer 2017 we were entering the market uh, with Q, Pinarello, Focus, Fantic and uh, we were opening some new niches like e-road bikes which is a segment which we are currently the market leader in Europe uh, with 28 bike models on the market but we are now opening our niches more up to Fullies with Lapier and Knox for example then we are having a wide variety of gravel bikes and especially the urban sector is growing a lot lately and we also stick to our roots and we will have more road bikes in the near future. So as if by magic, young Felix has managed to just bring a motor out of nowhere and he's going to talk us through how, how the system works. So Fatsua is providing four different modules and the first module I would love to introduce to you is the bottom bracket. The bottom bracket is not the motor. Most of the e-bike systems put the motor into the bottom bracket. We decided not. I'll come to the reason for that later on. The bottom bracket has a both side torque measurement and also a cadence measurement sensor at the same time. And the, the bottom bracket measures the values. Mm. Uh, these three values will be calculated together, but the perfect motor power is su supplied then to the driver that it feels natural. The power of the motor is going to be transmitted via that module, which is also our logo, to the spindles. And you will get 55 newton meters torque on the cranks. This is the motor unit, the drive pack we call it. The motor is just inside this little piece. So the motor is relatively small compared to some other systems and very efficient. So all you see here is a radiator, which is not done by design purposes, but for practical purposes to cool down the motor when it's in use. You will have 250 watt support in nominal and 400 watt support in peak. So what we have here is a 250 watt hours battery uh, with just 1.4 kilograms of weight, which is 2.8 kilogra uh, 2.8 pounds and uh, which will last for most of your rides as the consumption of the battery is not comparable to other systems. So this is a very important part. We also provide spare batteries in our online shop and um, they come very handy. There's, they are very lightweight and um, you could put them in your backpack or on your, um, on your bike in a drink bottle holder if you wish. But for most of your rides, one battery will be enough. Uh, will come 1,300 meters of altitude uh, with road bikes with the highest support mode and 750 meters of altitude with hard tail mountain bikes on gravel gr ground. So as well as your kind of motor system itself, you've also got a kind of like a blanking box thing which you're going to talk me through now, I believe. Yes. Just in case you don't want to go with an e-bike on a special day, you could uh, transform your e-bike to a traditional bike by using this downtube cover. The downtube cover actually is just an uh, empty alloy tube, uh, which is hollow and can be filled with rain jackets or tools, whatever you wish for. Beer? Beer, wine, baguette, I don't know what you drink in UK, Guinness and uh, you will save 2.9 kilograms of weight 
on your bike and you won't feel any resistance of the motor or you won't feel even remembered that this bike could even be an e-bike. So this is especially interesting for all those who could not decide if they would go for a traditional bike or if they would invest in a really good e-bike. So you say with that kind of system you don't feel any drag and that's because of where you locate the motor. You don't have it in the bottom bracket so there is no drag when it's disengaged. By not putting the motor to the bottom bracket but into the down tube we could put a free wheel in here or which disengages all the motor from the bottom bracket. So whenever you go faster than 25 kilometers per hour, you would not pedal against all the resistance of the motor and all the planetary gears inside the motor, but just against the resistance of the bottom bracket, which is comparable to a tapered uh, bottom bracket. It's around 10 watts you would lose. So not much and it still feels natural. And it's the same when you use the down tube cover, so the unmotorized version, you won't have any resistance. It's very important, yeah. So alongside our new compartment, we also have a new remote from Fatsua, and Felix is going to talk us through that now. So Fatsua is quite known for designing remotes in a very easy to handle way, so they are very intuitive to, to use, but they were a little bit clumsy in the past. So we decided to work on that for the last year and we designed the Remote FX, which is completely integratable into the frame. The most exciting thing about the Remote FX is that it has a touch uh, surface, uh, which makes it very easy to use. There's just five LEDs that are telling you what, what kind of support mode you're currently going and uh, what's the battery stages um, this is going to be displayed in with these five LEDs and 20% steps. So it's essentially just like a more a, a cleaner version of the previous remote and something I immediately asked as well was well what if it rains but you said you've thought about that as well with this remote. We were creating a rain mode uh, which is not interfering with the touch sens sensitivity you would shift between the modes by just pushing on the polygon that we are uh, that we put in the middle of the remote. So instead of the kind of touch swipe you just push a button so it will work the same? Yes, yes. So as well as the kind of drive system itself you can also control lights with it as well? Yes, that's also something new that we've implemented now. We call it the 12 volt connector box which is also retrofitable and uh, which can be used for switching on the light via the remote. So it's been a big year for Fatsua. We've got some cool new products coming out. You've had some good collaborations this year. Is there anything else exciting coming up you can tell us about? Yes, uh, there's several news I would like to, to spread. One of the most important things is that we are entering the US market by the end of this year and Australian, Canadian and New Zealandish market also by end of this year, beginning of next year, um, there are some quite some exciting uh, announcements uh, going to be made uh, within the first months of our appearance in the US and um, we are really, really excited how everything goes in the US. We're looking forward to it. Lots to look forward to from Fancier, but yeah, thank you very much Felix and yeah, thank all you. the best for the future. Cheers. Cheers.